Hi there, welcome to my little garage in Denmark. Ever since I was a little boy, I've been a major fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger. I even started bodybuilding most likely because of him and I even became a national champion more than 25 years ago in bodybuilding. Uh, I don't think that would have happened if it were not for Arnold. So when Arnold suddenly started making advertisements for different kind of tools, and now I'm talking about Parkside, which are traded through Little, a grocery store, well, I pay very close attention because if it's good enough for Arnold, it's definitely good enough for me. So the other day, I kind of, I wouldn't say by accident, but randomly uh, bought this Parkside multimeter. And it's not like it's gonna be a review of it. It's, it's, I'm just gonna give you a good tip because it does something pretty cool actually. Um, so yeah, it was like 15 euro, I don't know, something like that. 15 euro, basically nothing. And the reason I bought it was because it had this amp clamp. And I'm missing a multimeter which has that feature. Unfortunately, it went so fast because I was there with my little boy and my wife. We were uh, buying candy, it was Friday night. So I just grabbed it uh, from the shelf. And uh, not until I got home did I see that the amp clamp can only measure AC current. Damn. Okay, but nevertheless, um, I could also use a, a, a more a compact multimeter, which it is, so I didn't return it actually. Um, and I started using it. And there is something pretty cool about it. First of all, it's very solid build. I never had a multimeter, which is this cheap, which actually seems pretty good materials and well built. And yeah, it seems more expensive than it is. So in this video, I'm gonna compare it with my 250 euro uh, digital uh, uh, yeah, oscilloscope uh, multimeter. We're gonna compare it and see if the readings are the same. And that's for the voltage and for the resistance. I'm, gonna, I'm looking that way. I'm gonna use my uh, DTEX LR meter, which is one of the most precise ways of measuring a resistance. Uh, and compare it to the readings of this one. So without further ado, I think we should uh, turn the camera and uh, jump down to the engine bay. Now let's start with the Hansek multimeter. And then we use that for reference. Dear me, light up please. So I'm just gonna measure across the battery. 12.6 volts. Okay, perfect. And I'm gonna do exactly the same with the, the Arnold proposed one. Just gonna see. Just gonna do like this. I think I can manage to hold both. Are you able to see? I can see 12.6. Okay, great. So the voltage is the same. And uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna connect this LR meter from uh, DTEX, which measures uh, which is able to measure resistance down to approximately somewhere one milli ohm. It's basically nothing and compare it with that. And I'm gonna measure the same resistance on the handshake we just used also and see how does it handle or deal uh, cope uh, with measuring resistance compared to that also. So first we're gonna do a resistance measurement with the LR meter. And the way it works is that it needs to be connected to the 12 volts and uh, it needs to be reset. It's a very simple procedure actually, just connect them like this, you press zero. 
and it's good to go. So the way I'm gonna do it, uh, because this is a very sensitive uh, resistance measuring tool, is I'm gonna hold the one lead directly on the bolt, on the Indian bracket, on top of the bolt, uh, and I'm gonna hold it on top of the battery. Uh, and before uh, going too far, you need to remember when you're doing a measurement like this, when you're measuring resistance, there should be no current flowing. And I have also disconnected the, the positive terminal for to do this. So, yes, with that out of the way, now we're going to look. This is the one end the, and the other one. And we get... Ah. somewhere between 100 and 200. Yes, now, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the Huntec and see, is that able to reach such a small resistance? Uh, I'm going to hold the measuring probes exact the same on top of the bolt head. And and it detects nothing. So this very little resistance is simply not able to be detected on the Huntec. Now let's take our little friend here. And uh, by the way, it's very easy to, to use, actually. It's very good in the hand. So we're going to do the exact same. Now, and you might understand, pay attention to the scenery that I'm kind of building it up now, because I was pretty impressed with this. it actually detects the 100 milliohm, which we kind of just measured with the LR meter. The way more expensive Hantec did not detect that at all. It was simply not able to measure that. So there you have it. It kind of impressed me, especially considering it was only 15 euro. So this definitely deserves to get the autofocus bias tip. <laughs> I hope you like this video. Uh, as always, I want you to stay safe and take care. Bye.